Hi everyone, my name is Kaylee and I work for Tully Consulting Group. So I'm here to answer a question that we get asked very often. What do we do here at Tully Consulting Group? Well, hopefully I can help you answer that. So we are a civil engineering and stormwater management firm. Back in 2005, Robin Tully founded the company, so we're woman owned, which is pretty great. And she primarily started the company up as a civil engineering firm. And she was pumping out grading and drainage plans, helping design bioretention facilities, designing roadways, etc. But now, with the release of these new construction permits for stormwater management, we have shifted gears over into the stormwater management firm. So this is our 15th year open, and we have about 30 people who work for us, and we primarily perform stormwater inspections and help write all the plans that correspond with stormwater management. So why is this stormwater management thing such a big deal? So what happens is, when it rains, here is my rain cloud, in a perfect world, the stormwater runs over all of these surfaces, it collects and conveys, and it starts to concentrate and form little streams and flow downstream into our water bodies. But in reality, we know that things are not so clean, and so stormwater has this huge potential to pick up these pollutants and carry them downstream. So for example, on construction sites, which is mainly where we work, we see a lot of things like sediment, which is the number one source of stormwater pollution. We see things like concrete waste, which can increase the pH of your stormwater and water as it leaves the site. We see things like other chemicals, battery acids, paint, miscellaneous chemicals. We see oil and grease, leaking equipment, somebody backed into a fuel container. All kinds of potential chemicals that are exposed while you're doing construction. And so when it rains and if this site doesn't have adequate pr uh, protection measures, the stormwater, it cleans off the site, that's for sure, but it takes all of these chemicals and moves them downstream and concentrates these chemicals downstream in our water bodies, which can be very toxic for our wildlife not good for our own water quality, makes the water much more difficult to treat and to clean, and it can also impact and impound our water bodies by making them shallower. Then we have to go and dredge them out, which can be very expensive. So there are various consequences when we improperly manage our stormwater runoff. So runoff is any stormwater that enters your site, concentrates and collects, and leaves the site. So if your site doesn't allow that water to soak back up into the ground, it creates runoff. And that runoff has the potential to carry all those pollutants that are exposed on your site and to bring them downstream. Which, while it's not good for our wildlife, it's also potential for you to get fined. Thousands, if not millions of dollars, depending on what kind of violation it is.